Welcome to my unboxing of the final chapter of XFX's new Pro Series power supplies. So these are all super efficient, really like super efficient, high performance power supplies that are also focused on silence, clean power, and ease of use. So what makes them easy to use is the fact that they have Easy Rail, which is basically XFX's way of saying that they have a single powerful 12 volt rail. They've got a five year warranty. So this is the 1050 watt 80 plus gold version. We've already seen the limited edition 1000 watt 80 plus platinum. And then, so, okay, here we go. And then we've also seen the 1250 watt 80 plus gold as well. So the key difference between the 1050 watt 80 plus gold and the 1250 watt 80 plus gold is going to be in the GPU support. So the 1050 watt unit is only rated for 1050 watts, which, you know what, some would argue you could probably get away with a four-way graphics card configuration, but it wouldn't really be my recommendation. Um, I said during the 1250 watt one that you could get away with it with 1250, and I stand by that, especially now that AMD has released their new 7970 graphics cards, which we found out actually don't consume much more power, in fact, if any, than the 6970 um, which is a really good sign. What that means is maybe we're kind of getting to the end of this more power with every generation of graphics card thing. So you can buy a power supply now that's good for three to four high-end GPUs, depending which capacity you buy, and be confident that it's going to work with a next generation product. So this one right here is 80 plus gold, it's 1050 watt, and it is it comes equipped with three PCI Express uh, modular cables each of which has two 6 plus 2 pin connectors at the end. So it's ready for three graphics cards by default. Also comes with black screws for installing it in your case, as well as a super beefy thick power cord. Now this is one of the killer features of this guy right here. The I would never even consider turning it off. This is hybrid fan mode. And what hybrid fan mode does is when your power supply is under... Uh, hold on. Let me just double check. Yes, when your power supply is under 20% load, which let's face it, a 1050 watt power supply is usually gonna be under 20% load, especially when you're idling. When it's under 20% load, the fan turns off completely. This is not a flaw, this is not a defect, this is by design. So what that means is you're not accumulating dust in your grill and in your fan and in your power supply, because it's not even spinning whenever your system is not actually actively doing something, which is outstanding. I think that's the cool coolest thing in the world and every power supply from now on until the end of time should come with this feature. You can't really enable a feature like this unless you build a very efficient power supply though because at a thousand watts even 80 plus let's say 80 percent efficiency is kicking out a lot of excess waste energy so you have to get that I mean 80 plus gold is up in the neighborhood of 87 to 88 percent efficiency so that is what enables them to achieve that so in terms of modular interface back here we've got motherboard We've got one of these eight pin guys for the CPU. We've got those three PCIe connectors. So those are for these ones. So that's up to six, uh, that's up to six plugs off of these three. Then we've also got one, two, three, four, five, six peripheral connectors. And I'll show you all the cables we have for options for those. And then over here, we have uh, either an additional CPU connector. And this power supply actually comes with both 8-pin CPU cables, or you can plug PCIe in. So the 1250 watt comes with that additional PCIe. This one doesn't, but I don't think it's relevant because you're not going to be powering four graphics cards off this guy. In terms of the, of the aesthetic, I think XFX has done a fantastic job of making their power Power supplies stand apart from everyone else's. So you got your XFX shiny logo there. Stand apart from everyone else's without looking tacky because you see a lot of power supplies that stand out but they just look awful and XFX has not gone down that path at all. Well, oh, actually, before we, before we wrap up here, one of the things that makes this power supply kind of unique is if you look inside, you don't see that huge thick thing of wires running up to the modular interface and that's because they're using a solid link interface. So what the solid link interface does is it takes uh, solid pieces of metal 
and they're just routed like this off the PCB up to the modular interface rather than running wires. It's more efficient that way and it's tidier internally, which is not only better for efficiency but also better for cooling. Let me just see if there's anything I'm missing here. We covered Easy Rail, we covered Solid Link, and we covered Hybrid Fan Control, so all those major ones are there. And then what do we got over here? Yes, okay, yes, true wattage guarantee. It is 1,050 watts of continuous power. Lesser power supply brands are known to leave out things like some of the automatic protection sensors, which are all in this guy, and to not actually deliver uh, continuous power at a realistic operating temperature, which XFX is rating at 50 degrees, which I would say is even a little bit aggressive. Um, most power supplies are not going to be 50 degrees internally um, under really any circumstances. We're talking 50 degree internal temperatures in your case, which doesn't happen very often. So there, that's the example of the solid link versus the, the big thing of wires that goes out to that soldered modular interface. That looks really messy and unrealistic, but trust me, most of them look like that. Uh, solid link technology. Okay, so I think we've pretty much covered everything there. So let's have a look at what we've got in terms of peripheral connectors, and then I think we're pretty much wrapping it up. We've got our 24 pin here. And then in terms of options here, so for SATA, we've got a 3 SATA, another 3 SATA, another 3 SATA, and a 2 SATA. So that one I'd probably run up to my optical drive, and then the others I'd use for hard drives or SSDs. We've got one of those Molex to dual floppy adapters, in case you still use any floppy connectors in your system. We've got a 2 Molex and 2 by 3 Molexes, so you can choose whatever... So you can plug in whatever you want because it is fully modular. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Pro 1050 watt power supply from XFX. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.